Overnight rioting in England has resulted in the deaths of three men. Police started a murder inquiry after the three victims were hit by a car during disturbances in Birmingham in the Midlands. They were reportedly part of a group trying to protect their business premises when the car hit them. According to witnesses, the vehicle swerved towards them on purpose. People who committed the murder, they deliberately did not like the protectors. Okay, the looters did not like the protectors and that's why they came to attack them. As well as Birmingham, trouble broke out in Liverpool and Manchester, with isolated incidents in some smaller cities, including Nottingham, Bristol, Leicester and even relatively affluent Gloucester. But scenes, while bad, were nowhere near as serious as earlier in the week. In London, the tactic of police saturation appeared to have worked. 16,000 officers flooded the streets, 10,000 more than on Monday. They mainly targeted the areas which have so far seen the worst of the violence over the previous three nights. It was a clear change of tactics, as containment gave way to a show of strength and zero tolerance, with arrests being made for even small infringements. Police sources said that they detained 770 people, the youngest being just 11 years old. They say they'll keep up their heavy presence on Wednesday, echoing Prime Minister David Cameron's promise to do everything necessary to restore order to Britain's streets.